Okay, did you catch your breath? Are you ready for race number two? After that thrilling uh, race number one? Crazy, crazy, crazy NASCAR heat. Super modified sim racing. Ay, 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 boy. Uh, Kyle Perry, not afraid of nothing out there. He came home the winner in the first one. And uh, he's pretty happy about that. He'll be looking to do well here. Now, Keith Powell, who was the winner here at Orange County Speedway last year, if you just joined us, got wiped out by a lap car uh, at DeSera. Huge pileup, big crash. It's taking us a little bit of time to sort things out, finishing order, so that we can get our feature lineup for the second race here at Orange County set up for y'all. Uh, it is based on essentially the finish of the first race, as long as the drivers qualified into the Elite Eight positions. Uh, they are uh, locked in and they're eligible for the inversion based on handicaps. So, ironically, maybe not so much, Rocket Rob Warren. Uh, who was your fast qualifier here at Orange County Speedway tonight, will be going away for the pole. So it's Rocket Rob Horn out of Pulaska, New York, on the pole for Orange County Speedway. Starting outside row number one, hoping for a better finish. as a better starting spot. It's Keith put one on you, Powell. Powell, outside of row number one, out of Crestline, Ohio. Starting inside of row number two, it's the number 10 of Gary Waldron. He got wiped out in that first one as well, had a DNF. And uh, he's looking to do well here tonight at Orange County. Outside of row number two, the coach, Brad Keyser out of Liverpool, New York, sponsored by Chasing Cameras, BMK Logistics. Inside row number three, Anthony Corsanini uh, ended up uh, in the top 10 after the first race at uh, Desert just a few minutes, or a few, uh, minutes ago. He's going to go away from inside row number three. Car next to him, a guy that you really got to watch out for, a guy that actually built this track for NASCAR, NASCAR Heat. It's Dave O. Speedy Man starts in sixth. Inside row number four, driving the number 25. Speed racer cars, Bob Gaywer. Next to him, a good run for the driver out of Swing of New York and race number one, finished second. Got a ways to go here to get up there this time around. It's Ryan Clunan. Clunan in the Simbilly 13 starts eight. Starting a ninth position in the 0-2. The winner of the first race, Kyle Perry out of Fulton, New York, sponsored by Orange Crate Brewing. And then driving the number 26, starting next to him. Outside of row number five and 10th starting position, Greg Breen in the Lindsay Aggregates machine. Inside row number 11. Led, led five laps in the first race here tonight. Hails from Brook Park, Ohio, sponsored by Gannon All Supply. It's Bobby Haydock. Hey, Doc starts 11th. And next to him, a nice seventh place finish for this driver, the Smoky Bones Down Home Kitchen. It's Danny Ray. Danny, Danny Ray out of Goshen, Indiana, the 0 8. Rounding out the field with uh, another top 10 finish, a six, as a matter of fact, in the first race. Stephen Vincent. Vincent out of Cicero, New York, the creative assistant number. 28. Not starting here tonight will be the 56 and the 42, as they've called it a night after a rough one at Orange County, or excuse me, at DeSera Speedway. So pick your favorite folks and get ready to go here for race number two of the North Carolina Swing. We got some fast cars up front here. And then a good mix. You know, that's the great thing about Supers competition is that there's no straight up starts. Well, there's a couple, the big ones at the end of the season for the non wing and wing seasons. But uh, for the most part, no straight up starts in Supers, a handicap based on time trials or dashes or heat races. It's always a good mix. Gets guys, uh, Different levels of experience gives everybody kind of a shot to start the pole at least once. And uh, always puts the fast guys towards the back. Although when you've got this many fast guys, it's hard to get them all to the back.
Well, we'll see here. Powell and Warren on the front row. A couple of Supers champions, Gary Waldron. Former North Carolina swing champion, Brad Keezer, defending North Carolina swing champion, Anthony Corsaniti. Row three with Dave O. Folks, hang on. It's going to be a wild one here at Orange County. Warren bringing them down, looking for the green flag. Here they come off of turn four. Green flag flies. We're racing at Orange County Speedway. Rob Warren in the lead. Rob Warren into second. How about that? Gary Walder doing well here at Orange County. Powell third. Here comes Geezer. Geezer looking for four. Oh, goes underneath Keezer. Waldron hanging on to second. Warren trying to build up the lead. Geezer fighting back on Dave O now. Battle for fourth. Dave O looking to the outside of Powell as Powell works on Waldron. Field backing up now, second through fifth. That helps Warren. Oh, it gets by Powell into third place now. Teaser into the front stretch wall. Corsonini goes underneath. Teaser tries to switch back. Perry's right there. Battle for fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth on the racetrack. Dave O trying to chase down Rob Warren. Rob Warren with a two and a half second lead. Dave O gonna try to reel him in. Coming up on the halfway point here at Orange County Speedway. Rob Warren's your leader, Dave Owen second. Gary Waldron third, Keith Powell fourth. Kyle Perry, winner of the first race in fifth. Gang were Clunin, Corsaniti, Keezer. And then Steven Vincent rounding out the top 10. Warren coming up to lap. Greg Breen going to put him a lap down. That's what Dave O wanted to see.
Warren gets by Bree. That's going to help him out a little bit, but there'll be more lap trapping before this one's over with. Owl going to work on Gary Waldron for third place. Doesn't look like Dave O is able to make much time up on Rob Warren. Now Waldron has pulled away a little bit from Powell. Watching that battle shape up as they come into the lap traffic. And to go and Bree, the lap car to the front stretch wall. He keeps it high. Everybody goes by. There goes Powell underneath Waldron. Turn two. Nine laps to go. Waldron shuts the door. Can't make it stick. Perry trying to reel in those two. Powell still working on Waldron with seven to go. Warren's leading. Oh, second. There goes Powell underneath Waldron. Turn two. Waldron trying to fight back down low in turn three. Perry's right there. He's trying to catch up. Waldron in the front stretch wall with five to go. There's Kyle Perry down low out of turn two. That has been Waldron's tough spot. Perry fighting underneath Waldron now. Gets into third place. Waldron trying to come back. Kyle Perry in fourth. Rob Warren with three lap cars. Three laps to go. Two to go. Rob Warren trying to hang on after getting a DNF for the first race of the night. Whoa, that was a little hairy. Last lap, white flags out for Rocket Rob Warren. Can he hang on? Here he comes through turn three and four. Orange County Speedway's winner, Rocket Rob Warren. Warren for the win. Dave O hangs on for second. Keith Powell on the podium in third after a horrendous first race here tonight at to Sarah. Great run by Rocket Rob Warren for the win.